<laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> let's unlock it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Freaking love it. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, another chance to push out. The topic for this one is the first NFC door lock test, so let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So here we go. This door frame needs to wait because this is way more entertaining. Check it out, I brought my laptop, good old alienware all the other equipment the lock and the motor and well it's all about this motor is it strong enough to drive it or not we will find out in a second so yeah let's exchange this a bolt that bolt i don't know so yeah power of video <laughs> if i actually manage to get this to work <laughs> oh my god this will be the best thing ever i need to hold this motor in place otherwise it will probably just spin but i also need to activate it somehow that's the reader right here. There's my tag. Oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> okay, it's closed now. Let's unlock it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it obviously turns into the wrong direction. <laughs> Wait, where is the camera even pointing? So yeah, check this out. It's actually working. Definitely working. This thing definitely has enough power to do the job, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. But now comes the really, really difficult part because I need to, you know, work out something. A part in between here, basically. Yeah, and oh my god, I also need to drill through the door. Because the reader definitely needs to go somewhere here. Oh my god, this door is messed up. But yeah, this is hella awesome. <laughs> this is sweet. Okay, I will see you in a bit. I just realized a mistake. The enable pin just came off. It's this one right here and now. It's easy to turn this thing. Well, it's, you know, performing as it should. You can just use a key or just turn it with your hands. Easy as that. I just need to change this to true for the lock and for the unlock. I just need to change this to false. Easy as that. Uploading and now. It will actually lock the door. Oh, I'm locked. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> so it's a while later and I also came to the conclusion that this motor is strong enough to open and close this lock, but it's not strong enough to actually, you know, open up the whole door. It's not strong enough to pull this thing down. Let me demonstrate it's not strong enough to do this. So I had to get out this door knob, well it's not a knob, this door handle, ah, that's what you call it. And yeah, it was quite hard but it's done and the way I will solve this is obviously I need two handles on either side. Easy fix I guess, let's just hope it won't be too expensive but yeah. Now I have a hole in my door, hello, freaking hell. Yeah, well it's simply not strong enough. Well, I discovered yet another problem. It seems like unlocking is easier than locking it. As you saw, the unlocking is no problem, but locking it, well, watch this. Hmm. I cannot explain that. And this is my solution to the problem combined with uh, this. It is always such a pain to come up with the gears. It's unbelievable. But yeah, it's done. And now... I have a nice wheel on my door. It is looking kind of cool in my opinion. That's the other side right here, but there is a problem because this angle right here is too big. It's colliding. Won't work. So I need to... Well, this thing needs to go on the other side and I also brought this piece, so I might try that as well. I think a better driver could also solve this power problem and I already ordered some, but for now I will definitely use these, well, the gear approach, 22 and 66 and I 
you know, I love to go fancy with a double herring and yes, this took me quite a while. Keyless entry right here would be awesome, but then there is still another barrier down the stairs. So I also need to think about something, a solution to open up this other door. And I think I will just, you know, there is this bell. If you press downstairs, it will ring. And there is this button to open the door. Did you hear that? I think I might be able to wire something up so that I, when I, you know, ring the bell, the door will actually open. That would be sweet. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this is so freaking loud, oh my god. Okay, I need three times the steps. Okay, just like that. Yep, I think that did it. Hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, this is crazy. Yep, that definitely works. Even with this small driver. Hell yeah. Okay, now I know the next steps. I need to come up with a new bracket. I need a better way to mount this motor on this angle right here. The black one will go, this bigger one will stay. The tolerances are a bit messed up, so I will reprint this one definitely. I might also glue them onto the shaft. Yeah, that might be an idea. But yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> freaking love it. And this whole mechanism will go onto the door, of course. I will also go with a turnable doorknob so that I can open the door from the outside. So yet another seemingly easy project, but yeah, way more work than expected. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button away. This tiny motor smashes sound waves through stairwell. Bang the bell like crap, crap to never miss. NFC download updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.